This is the 2015 Mercedes Formula One power unit. Um, these are the exact units that were used for Lewis to win the championship. So this won the Grand Prix in USA where Lewis secured the championship. The power unit is made up of two bits, the internal combustion engine and the ERS unit. Start with the internal combustion engine. Two key ingredients. The first one is fuel, the second one is air. The air goes in to the engine through the compressor. Pressure ratio increases the pressure of the air. The temperature increases and so it comes out of the compressor and goes to an intercooler in the side pod. That cooled air then comes back and comes into the plenum at the top here through these two points. That air then goes through the plenum system into the back of the intake valves and into the combustion chamber. The fuel comes from the fuel tank into the engine. There's a high pressure pump and that pump raises the pressure and then injects it directly into the cylinder to meet the air. Combustion takes place using a conventional spark plug and then the rest of the engine is very conventional. A piston, connecting rod and crankshaft which then transmits the power through and out to the back of the engine through the flywheel and into the transmission. The ERS system. The ERS system is made up of two electric motors and a battery. The first electric motor, the MGU-H, is connected to the back of the compressor and is mounted between the compressor and the turbine. The exhaust gases that have come back from the combustion process drive the turbine. We recover the energy from those exhaust gases and first it drives the compressor to put the air into the engine. Then any excess energy is absorbed by the electric machine, comes down the cable, through the power electronics and can be stored in the battery. Or we can take it from that power electronics into the second power electronics, through the cable to the second electric machine, the MGUK, which is 120 kilowatts, 160 horsepower, is gear driven onto the crankshaft, which then delivers the power out the back of the engine and adds to the internal combustion engine power.